I'm Michelle Fox, which, <laughs> okay, I'm Michelle Fox. I am a mother, I am a realtor, I am a friend, I am a lover, I am a business owner, I am an actress, I am a spokesperson. I wear many, many hats and I'm so grateful for this, this path I'm on right now. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that I have a movie. I will tell you, I do love romantic comedies, probably just because um, they're usually set in beautiful places. So I guess I am a big fan of movies with great cinematography. Um, but I also am a huge sucker for sappy love stories. I sometimes can see myself in these stories, and then sometimes I wish I could see myself in these stories. Um, but I, I love love. Okay, so. Why did the monkey cross the road? He said, make like a banana and split. And that's like, <laughs> this is seven-year-old humor. This is what I've got to work with these days. I'm a mama, what can I say? I love coffee, the taste of it, the smell of it, but my body hates it. I get very jittery. Yes, I am a jittery coffee drinker. So thanks for asking. Sometimes people do ask about my arms. I like to... You know, that other Michelle in Washington I get compared to that, which is always a compliment. But I'm like, yeah, I'm Michelle Fox. And yes, I do enjoy working out. If I don't work out a minimum of three or four times a week, I am a straight up, I'll say grump. I think that's the safest word I can say on camera right now. <laughs> my seven-year-old daughter just came up to me right now in my mine, and I was thinking she'd probably be like, Mommy, if, in, if people could really see some of the grumpiness that I get at home, I don't know. Um, I, can t I can say my happiest time is usually when I'm at dinner with friends. That is usually when I'm happiest. The last movie I just saw actually was Before Midnight. What I loved about that movie was just the flow, and it was really an intimate look in relationships, and Personally, that is one of my passions, is to look at relationships, my own, other people's. Um, and so if I had to say which movie I could see myself in or that I most identified with, as of late, it would probably be Before Midnight. If my seven-year-old daughter, her hap name happens to be Angel, were to make her own breakfast, I promise you the stack of pancakes would be about this high. There would be not only syrup, and butter, but there would be chocolate syrup and probably strawberry syrup and any other kind of sugar she can find in the kitchen is gonna be on that stack of pancakes, I guarantee you. <laughs> so big breakfast followed by a nap would start my perfect day to begin with. <laughs> After the nap, if I could wake up and just hop over to a spa somewhere where I'm getting an hour and a half massage, that would be a little bit of heaven. Um, after that massage, if I could talk to one or two of my best friends on the phone, that would bring me significantly more joy. Followed by a nice romantic dinner with a loved one. And then after that, I'm not sharing the rest with the camera. <laughs> but I think that would be my perfect day. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that question. <laughs> I love to travel. And I have to say, I do have a slight bias towards beach towns. Anywhere where there's a beach, I'm going to be happy. Even though I love and adore living in the mountain area, and I don't know that I want to live anywhere else, when I travel, I love to travel to the beach.